emotions are being back here? I can't really put it into words, but uh, I tell them I'm grateful to be here every moment of the day. Uh, yeah, like uh, this whole process, was, it was very crazy for me, as we all know. Um, very bittersweet. Uh, enjoyed it all. Obviously had plenty of times to, you know, revamp myself. Um, physically become more prepared for the season. Granted, I wish I would have had a camp, but it's okay though. Uh, it'll work out in the back end, but uh, very excited for the moment. Cherish every bit of it. Shout out my agent. I'm grateful for the whole opportunity. Uh, going back and forth, the phone calls with him. Obviously thanking God every morning. Get the chance to wake up and do what I do, but yeah, man, it was surreal. Loved it. Here we are. Did you doubt that it would get done? Did I? Nah, I had no doubt. I had no doubt one bit. But uh, I will say I was getting impatient. <laughs> <laughs> you say missing being out there at camp. How do you feel like your work in South Florida really helped out? Uh, I feel like I didn't, I'm not missing a beat. Um, shout out Sharif uh, for getting me mentally, physically prepared for these moments. Um, the two hours outside in the Florida weather was not pleasant. But um, I appreciate it for it because obviously coming back in the indoors, I can breathe a little bit more, you know. Uh, physically prepare for these moments again. Uh, yeah, I'm ready to I'm ready to go to battle. Now, added weight, how do you feel like that'll be able to help you on the field? Got some body armor on me. Got a little more body armor. I could take a couple more hits, so I'm prepared for my opportunities. When did you come back to Dallas? Bro. 12 hours ago. <laughs> 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 I feel like, yeah, uh, I got here yesterday around midday. Um, I was on, the, I would say like 4.45. Got my test, did my little physical. I'm like, yo, let's get this done. Like, I'm like, where, where were you when you got to worry when you were asleep? Well, I mean, where were nah, you? Nah, 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 I was up. I was literally in the living room talking to my guys. I had my homeboys with me. Um, we were just chatting, then my agent FaceTimed me. Uh, <laughs> He was actually kind of, it was, was kind of crazy because he hit me with a, uh, yeah, man, this is going south, da 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 I'm like, what do you mean it's going south? Like, we, you know, it's time. Like, and then he hit me with, yeah, they're only going to try to pay you 34 a year. Uh, you know, I'm like, well, where do I sign? <laughs> what did your boys say? No, nah, they were happy for them. They were happy for me. Uh, as soon as I got off the phone, I'm, obviously I didn't have anything to say immediately because I had to soak it all in. It didn't feel real for like the next like two, three hours, to be honest. The whole time I was on the plane, I was just like, well, we're going home for a reason, you know, so. All the other leaders in the locker room that we spoke to in camp, you know, basically said how you stayed connected mentally and with the guys. And Micah said that you were watching practice films For sure. when you could. So can you talk about what you've seen from, like, the younger receivers that took step up and took advantage of the opportunities? In, in I was excited. Uh, obviously, I hated that I missed a couple of them and wasn't really able to, you know, guide them or give them my point of view of how the season went or anything. But uh, – I'm happy to see it. You know, uh, obviously I trust RP and his training, and the guys are going to gel together. But obviously, shout out Flo. Uh, he's been having a great camp, and as that catch you've seen today, um, he's been balling. Uh, obviously, Turk doing his thing. B Cooks, he's back healthy now, so happy for that. Uh, everything is falling into place, and can't wait to see it unfold. Yeah, how, how many, how many texts did you send today? A lot of the guys were talking about their text, texting oh, yeah. them a lot about how yeah. many yeah. How many would you send today to your teammates, do you think? Uh, I can't put a number on it. <laughs> I'm not even going to lie to you. I just had all the questions like, how are we feeling? Like, what are we thinking? Like, what's the situation? Yeah, I know when I get back, I'm, I'm coming with energy. So, <laughs> <laughs> obviously not with my mouth, but with my play. How what quickly, was the back, how quickly did you get back up to how you ended last season and the numbers you put up to do that again. Quite honestly, I don't think it's going to be a step behind at all. Um, I'm ready. I'm prepared for these moments. I played this game my whole life. So you've been staying ready, but what's the most important thing that you have to do between now and September 8th so that you are sure? I got to get bumped a little bit. You know, not so much hit, but as I'm running, the nudge. You know what I'm saying? Those are things that you just contact balance. But again, I train for those in Fort Lauderdale or in Davie, excuse me, with Reef and Again, I feel like I'm more prepared than ever. My you talked about yesterday that you had an iPad. How much of the offense are you comfortable with? Did you, or do you think you missed anything? Uh, obviously, it's just the verbiage. They changed. They tweaked a couple things. But um, again, I kept my iPad on. You know, uh, if we go look at the hours, I'm pretty sure I'm probably even one of the top. You talked about the process that when Jerry had the comments at camp and, and you responded on Twitter, just 
What, what was that moment like? And, and you know, what were you kind of, what was going through your mind? And the Spider-Man mask, too. Uh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. That? <laughs> Listen, that's my favorite superhero. That's my favorite superhero. Listen, he's entering his villain arc, and I'm coming back for vengeance. So that's what that is. And um, as far as the comments, I mean, he's entitled to whatever you got to say. As long as we get the deal done, I ain't got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you see, what was the last, when's the last time you were in this building? Bro, January. I don't even remember the date, but that was the last time I said I haven't been back in like seven, eight months. How weird was that? It sucked. It sucked. And obviously, I've came back home plenty of times. I had to drive to near Frisco uh, by the star. I look at it. Tempted to come in, obviously, <laughs> but then I go grab some food right across the street. <laughs> what, was, what was the feeling to come in here and sign that contract? It was what amazing, bro. All the stress, all the everything just went out the window. Well, everything. What was all. your interaction with Jerry um, when you signed the deal? Obviously, we had a businessman conversation. We just had to clear the room. Everything is behind us. I'm not worried about nothing. We got what we needed to get done, and now it's time for me to go ball. Two How much weeks, did you two weeks before, I mean, less than two weeks before the Cleveland game, can you be ready to go 60 plays? And what, what's the... Yes, bro. <laughs> no question. I'll, I'll be ready. How much so did you and Dak ball. work out the, this summer and in the spring and stuff? Were you able to do as much as yeah. the, we got, what you had done? We got our, we got our, we got our reps in, for see, sure. See, and the best thing about it, I'm sorry, but uh, him having a field in his backyard. So anytime I came back home, it was time. You see, sorry. No, you good. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm on one. Um, how important is it for you to have Dak in the future here with you? It's amazing, bro. If you go look at our numbers together, they're at the top of the charts. And um, I have no doubt that they're going to get a deal done. And we all know that I want Dak here. Jerry wants Dak here, too. So let's just get this under, under control, kill the speculations. Let's go win. Was this a harsh reality for you about the business side of this? Because I know you had you were thinking about this all last year. So. Yeah, it was. I wouldn't. I mean, it was just obviously you got to separate your business likes from your your actual like something that you grew up playing for fun. You know what I'm saying? So as for me, I would try to obviously give out subtle subliminal messages like I have like my love for this game would never vanish. Like the business side of it is its own side. But then when I line up or get on this field, I know it's time to go to work. So it was just like uh, I saw both sides of it. It was very eye-opening. Um, I understand how it is now. Granted, it was my first time going through it for my first vet contract, you know, so uh, I'm prepared for the next one. How many times did you want to How many times did you want? You say you're impatient. How many times did you want to say, just, just give me back there? Uh, to be honest, really only one time throughout this whole time and it was near the end quite honestly now that we got it done i can tell y'all so <laughs> it was near the end. Uh, i was like bro listen i'm we just need to get this done i'm ready to go be with my guys i know we're missing out on so much time like a month obviously i'm training on my own granted i can be prepared but like timing you can't teach that you can't coach that you can't rep like the only thing you can do is rep that and um obviously avenues bumps and alleyways of getting open and scoring touchdowns. You got to see it to believe it. How frustrating, is that, over the course of How frustrating is that misconception when you can't say something and the fans are saying it's all about the money it's, and you're telling us it's... It's really not. I promise you. That? It's not about the money. But obviously it has a big part of continuing the situation. But, man, I love playing football. When I get on the field, the my performance is what makes the money. So if I get out there and show y'all what I can do, how much I love this sport, how much respect I can give to the sport by giving it my all, that'll answer all these questions. I know you take pride in providing for your family. What was the most emotional part of getting this deal? Oh, man. Retiring my mom, letting my dad know that he's good. Obviously calling my grandmother. She was crying. That was an amazing time. But uh, just being able to give my family that financial freedom that they've always wanted. And granted, they've been working their tail off my whole life. So I understand where my grind comes from, my passion. Um, yeah, man, I'm just happy that I could do that for my family, my mom, my dad, my grandmother, my brothers. Um, the list could go on and on, bro. But uh, yeah, I'm just, once again, put me in a great position. Now I can go handle my 